In this video, we're going to discuss narrow casting. So what is narrow casting? Well, most of us have heard the term broadcasting, which is really just, you know, casting out your media messages to a broad audience. So narrow casting is aiming that media message to a very specific or narrow group of people instead. So broadcasting is to reach a really wide audience. Uh, it's mass marketing, but your messages have to be very general because of course you're reaching, you're trying to appeal to a very wide range of people. Narrow casting on the other hand is going to a very specific audience that's very highly targeted. So you can have a specialized message that's really of higher impact for that particular audience. Narrow can be a, a specific region, like hyper-local, like your local community area, like it can be your local city, but it could even be just your local 10 block radius. It can be a specific group. It can be a specific company or an organization or people that have a shared, very specific interest. So here's some very general examples around uh, narrow casting. So network television, uh, your standard uh, TV channel, primetime TV channel, would be considered broadcasting. It's trying to reach a wide range of people. However, there's YouTube channels out there that are very specific on certain topics, such as wood carving or quilting or uh, really almost any topic that's out there. So that's a narrow, narrow casting, a YouTube channel on a specific topic. Similarly, Time Magazine is very broad. It's trying to appeal to a wide range of people, whereas a photography magazine are for those people who are really interested in photography. So it's a much narrower target audience. Some of the ways you can use narrow casting, uh, you can use it to be broadcast, uh, sorry, narrow casting just to your employees. Uh, you can use it for messaging employees. You can use it to just reach your customers. Or you can have very topic specific. Uh, I mentioned a number of different ones out there, but uh, you know, there's even topics such as how to clean fish or how to fix your washer and dryer. So you know, the, the topics get very specific. Here's a few real life examples from some of our clients who have uh, allowed us to share them with you. The Rainbow Lodge Retreat Center uh, communicates with their guests using digital signage. So they show local events, local uh, weather, what's going on and things like that. So it's, it's a very narrow target audience because it's really just people staying at the lodge. So it can talk about future specials. It can talk about um, you know suggested tours they might also wanna go on. So it could be used to increase the revenue uh, from their existing existing clients who are already there. The Mexican Red Cross communicates with their internal teams to update them on projects, disasters that are happening, uh, new policies, safety tips. So, you know, they use, they use our tools to be able to communicate internally uh, very effectively. HD Supply is a manufacturing company. So what they do on their factory floor is they have screens up that show the manufacturing statuses, like the rates of production and defect rates, uh, you know, how the machines are running and all those kinds of things. So employees and management at a glance can see how things are going. So why is narrow casting so important? Well, because your target audience is very narrow with narrow casting, you can have a more powerful targeted message. Uh, think about you know, a ski hill that might be advertising all the different things they do. You know, like they have family lessons, they have adult skiing, they have all these different ones. So they're gonna wanna be, you know, kind of very general messages. But then think about your extreme snowboarders or your people who wanna go helicopter skiing and go up into powder. That's a very narrow target target audience, but the videos and the information you can show them would be really powerful, like people, you know, skiing in, in the powder coming off of the helicopter and, and doing insane things that you really don't want to be showing your, 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 young, your family people who want their children to be safe while they learn to ski. So narrow casting lets you create those very powerful targeted messages that reach a group and, and appeals to what they're looking for. Narrow casting can also save you money because instead of, you know, paying for broadcasting like network TV, you know, really expensive advertisings, you can be, uh, you know, advertising in a very narrow way to reach that group, like a, a specific YouTube channel or, or you can create your own uh, YouTube channels or, or your own ways of reaching people like that. 
So what can you narrow cast? Well, really anything that can be broadcast can be narrow casted. Uh, video you've recorded, images, podcasts, text, live video feeds, news, weather, music, just about anything uh, can be narrow casted, but it can be more targeted. A few tips on narrow casting, some best practices. So you want to tailor the story to your audience, and that's the real power of narrow casting. So make sure you're talking specifically to that audience. And choose your media type based on the audience. Do they learn better from images, from video, from podcasting? Like give some thought to, you know, what's the best way to reach them? And use the right channels, like find the channels. How am I going to reach these people? You could also do interactive narrow casting where the customer chooses the content. So you can give them a screen with maybe three or four options and they tap the one they're interested in. So an example of this would be where a shopping mall would use a directional screen so people can say, well, what service are you interested in? You go, well, I'm interested in food. Uh, so they push that button and it will show them the way to all the different food courts and restaurants that are available in the shopping mall. Narrow casting can be done quite easily. Really, all you need is a monitor with a computer or a compute stick uh, connected to it. Uh, alternatively, um, you can, or optionally, you can also, if you're connected through a local area network or internet, you can um, access for remote control and you can control a wide range of computers. We recommend PowerPoint for narrow casting just because it's so easy to use. Most people have access. There's tons of templates out there and there's some really powerful narrow casting plugins you can get to work with. For example, here's a few uh, narrow casting software plugins. So uh, we offer a plugin called iPoint that lets you manage your digital signage monitors from any Windows computer. So you can use the internet to manage them across the country or around the globe. Message Point will take your existing computer network and turn it into a company-wide broadcast system. Dynamic Elements will connect your PowerPoint uh, templates to live updating social media, news, weather, music, pictures, clocks, timers, calendars, or you can create your own video wall. And Data Point will create real-time connections to nearly any data source uh, to have your presentations or inf information screens automatically update. If you need more help or have any questions with narrow casting, please visit presentationpoint.com and contact us. Thank you for listening.